Good afternoon, folks, and thanks for joining us. My name is Tim Ween with MMA Sucka, and today we have two guests for you. Uh, Jay Overmere, he is a two-time World Fighting League champion, and he is making his promotional debut at Glory 80. Jay, thanks so much for coming on the show. How's everything today, sir? Thank you. We try very hard. This I'm is good to hear. Yeah. And we also have special guest Melvin Manhoff. He needs no introduction. A bit of a legend in MMA and kickboxing. Fought internationally, Dream K1 Rings, and so many others. And he's also trained with Jay Overmere. Melvin, how's everything today, sir? Everything is going fine. Perfect. So Good to hear. And I appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem, man. Appreciate it also. Awesome stuff. Jay, you're making your Glory promotional debut at Glory 80. You're going to be fighting Joe's Van Belzen. What are you looking to do in this fight? What's the game plan? And how's training coming along, sir? Training's coming along very good. I think we have still five more weeks. And I'm training 10, 11 times a week. So uh, my condition is very good, as always. And uh, I'm going to entertain the crowd, like always. That's what I want to do, entertain the crowd. Wonderful to hear. Melvin, you've fought some of the greatest fighters in history. You've trained with some of the greatest fighters in history. Where does Jay fit into that echelon of fighters that you've worked with? Yeah, this is the, the important part. I think that Jay is now entering uh, 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 the competition of glory, and I think he can manage with all the guys. Um, I saw the talent already early because the first fight I saw him fighting uh, Marino Schouten, he, he took the fight on short notice and he just like fought the guy who had like tons of experience and he just rocked him. I just rocked, who is this guy? And then I was like, <laughs> this guy I need, I want this guy. And so he joined WFL and now, he, yeah, I think there in glory uh, is, is his home now. And I think there he's going to surprise people. Hey, that's absolutely awesome. Now you've and you've worked with him for quite a while, Melvin. Yeah. He's in glory now. He was in your promotion before in WFL. Uh, yeah. How fast do you think Jay is going to move into a glory title shot? How many years away are we, or, or months away even? What do you think? Uh, I listen. This is also about uh, uh, Jay because I think Jay uh, has like uh, he has his own pet and he's like very stable in his head, you know. And he explained me a lot of things and said, "Listen, I don't need to rush when I'm coming." He's going to come and he's going to stay forever. You know, he's not going to do for participating one time. He's going to be there and he's going to own. So that's what he told me. So that's why. Yes. Go ahead, Jay. Tell us a little bit more about your mindset coming into glory. How do you handle like we're moving? I mean, you fought on some big stages before in Infusion and WFL. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us some more. So this is my dream, like uh, for 11 years now. So finally, I can show the world what I'm capable of. So uh, no, that's, uh, I'm very excited and uh, you're ready. You're ready to go. This is awesome. Now at Glory 80, uh, March 19th, you get a win. Who do you want to call out next? Do you have your eye on a future opponent, Jay? Oh, no. I'm, uh, I'm uh, ready for everyone. And uh, uh, just like Melvin said, uh, I'm going to uh, – I don't want to rush. You know, I don't want to rush. Just – Go a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then go for the title shot. This is wonderful. Taking it one opponent at a time, that is great. Yes, yes. Melvin, I wanted to ask you as well, you fought on many different stages all around the world, giving advice to younger fighters. How did you handle anxiety and pressure when you entered the ring, when you entered cages? How did you block everything else out just to focus on fighting? Yeah, you know... uh... At the moment when I uh, on stage, I have like one vision and that is my opponent and I know what he's capable of, and what he's wanting to do. And the only focus is if you are focusing on the uh, fight, uh, so you other things you block around you. This thing. Uh, uh, hearing my uh, entry music or my song, uh, that moment, I'm I'm gone, and I'm in the moment, and yeah, this is what I did always. So uh, that's how I blocked all the things, you know. So, oh, absolutely. I, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know how the other. That's what I can say. The guys, you know, that they have to focus on the only thing what they want that is uh, winning and making round by round, winning round by round. Because if you don't win a round, you you know, yeah, uh, you're not gonna win the fight. 
that's absolutely fair. Uh, Jay, I want to ask you as well, you're working, uh, you've worked with some amazing trainers in your past. You've sparred with some amazing people. Um, it, you're training with Melvin. What are some of the lessons that you've been able to take away from someone who has so much experience? For, uh, uh, from, I think what I learned from Melvin is the mindset. He's, 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 he's very good in his head. So that's the number one lesson I, I, I've learned from Melvin, just to stay calm and relax before the fight. Yeah. But also you cannot you cannot forget Ricardo Nipka, his his coach, his head coach, because that one, that guy is like phenomenal. You know, when he was fighting in the younger days, he was like one of the yeah, most very good. Guys, you know, so and the system what he is training Jay, you know, it's like uh it's uh, uh, a good system, but also orthodox sometimes. And this messes up like a lot of strategy of some guy. So uh brain about I think he has most of the credits, uh, Ricardo uh, and, and Jay, of course, you know. Yeah, that's totally reasonable. Yeah, some amazing trainers in the corner uh, working with Jay, uh, bringing him on up. Melvin, I, let me ask you as well. What If someone is looking to enter kickboxing, the kickboxing world, what advice would you be giving some of the younger people looking to enter the sport? Yeah, only the only thing what I can give them is like dedication education because it's not gonna come in in one two years you know some people do are like 10 11 years and now jay is making his debut you understand if you are coming and you want to be in three years you want to get like yep. like in three years you want to do something it's not possible you understand so 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 that's why dedication is the key to the success uh, and and Sorry. <laughs> Dedication. Jay, what about you? You as well. Uh, what advice would you be giving to some of the younger people looking to enter the sport? Um, for me, I think just believe in yourself and keep on going. Train hard every day. Uh, and <clears throat> for me, it takes 11 years. So it was a dream for me. And I think. Uh, uh, win or lose, you must go on. You must go on. And and speaking of which, last fight you fought an amazing fighter and Andy Semler. He's an extremely good yeah. talent. In what were some of the lessons you learned in that last fight, which was a title match in Infusion? Oh, it was a very, very, very good fight. In my opinion, I win that fight. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, it was a good opponent. He was. Uh, he had a hard punch, and uh, yeah, you learn. I think uh, uh, in the fight, I I I I didn't lose, and um, uh, how do you say that? Um, you, you. I'm sorry, it's very it's very noisy over here. That's okay. Uh, um, I think you 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 don't lose, but you learn every fight. Nope, that's yeah, that's absolutely fair. And it was a great fight with Andy. Andy's an extremely good talent as well. Big fight coming up at Glory 80, going out to Belgium, which isn't too far from you. Yeah, very big fight. Uh, but are in the main event. Jamal Ben Sadiq. Uh, my friend Lady Richards is going to fight Jamal Ben Sadiq, so I'm very excited to, to be on the tour, of course. So, so sorry about that, Melvin. No oh, problem. Jay, I'm just going to jump back to you for one second because you're training with Levy there. He's got. Be Jamal Ben Sadiq is a really tough opponent. How do you think Levy's training is coming along? How, how are you getting him ready? Levy, Levy, Levy's training very, very, very hard. And I'm, I'm thinking he's, he's going to shock the world. And if he wins uh, against Jamal Ben Sadiq, he's going to rise up. He's going to rise up. Uh, and it's a big win if he gets himself over the top. But that's Jay, a big win. that's a big one. Jay, let me ask you in the main event, you have Arcadius Verdrosic and Bada Hari. Their rematch. Who do you have in that one? How do you see that fight playing out? <laughs> if Bada's uh, hands are high, he, he wins for sure. He wins for sure. And, and Melvin, uh, same as you. Well, question for you. So the main event, Arcadius Verdrosic and Bada Hari. Who do you have winning this fight? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, Butter is my training partner now at, at, at SB Gym. So, you know, we're going to cheer for Butter, uh, of course. Um, and the fight against Jamal and, 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 and Levy, this is like 50 50. For Levy, it's like he has to prove something. Jamal is already having have been in so many tough battles. So he, he know what to do. 
but it can go either way, you know, the younger one who wants to have like that spot. So the mindset of that is going to be very, very attractive to see if the mindset is very high of, of Levy, he can manage something. But if the mindset of Jamal, yeah, That's tells awesome. him that yeah. he's going to stay on top, then yeah, then he has to wait for a while. <laughs> That's how it is. going to shock the world. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, I think... I think Jay Overman is going to shock the world, but it's going to oh, happen. For sure. <laughs> that's for sure. No problem. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awesome, you guys. Uh, so, Glory 80, March 19th, we've got some boys on the card who's ready to shock the world. Uh, Melvin, quick question for you. I, I wanted to ask you, and we yeah, have to yeah. ask you, we'd be remiss not to ask, calling out your next opponent in Bellator, who do you want to call out? No, listen, uh, I don't like to call people out, you know. I think that I have, like do for 26 years now i'm doing the thing what i do the most knocking people out and, and just fighting entertain the crowd you understand when i come on on the show it's that you cannot get like uh, a coke or something you cannot get by a drink you know what something's gonna happen so who that brings me i'm always gonna accept and i i like i like challenges so bring me bring me Corey anderson i i asked them about Corey. so it, it, I, I don't mind. So if they're going to bring me somebody else, you know, they have like top guys there. So I want to fight the top, you know, and, and try to try to achieve a lot of things on this on this time in my career still. Oh, awesome. Melvin, appreciate that. Uh, Jay, who are some of your biggest inspirations when you were coming out in kickboxing? Who were the fighters you looked up to most? Uh, I think my, my main is Simon Stone. He's a, he's a very good fighter. He also trains at the gym and train, so... It's Tyler Stone for me, uh, uh, example. He's an amazing talent, and he's so he's been good for so long. And he fought way outside of his Especially weight class. In his young days, he was at 70, 70 kilos. My weight he was the best, and the very best. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we're gonna get the last word in for you, gentlemen. Melvin, I'll let you go first. Where can the people find more of you? What do you got going on in your life? Tell us everything. Yo, yes, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm now doing like i'm running my gym doing the promotions wfl mma and all these kind of things i i like to be uh how you say this uh chasing the kickboxing game and pro professionalize professionalizing it in in holland so this is my main focus uh and afterwards you know i'm i'm like to be busy with young guys talented guys as jay and all kind of things who i have like quasa those guys are like I think those guys are the future. So if we invest in them uh, good and show them the way uh, that they can be better champions that uh, we already have, I think. So I think this is now what I'm finding after that I have to retire because there is a moment that I have to retire. I think I can find joy and happiness and fight through them also, you know. So I think this is my, uh, my last thing that I want to do for the guys and for, the sport. for the sport. It's a wonder yeah. for yes. the sport. It's a wonderful legacy, Melvin, and we appreciate you doing it yes, as well. Thank you. you. Built up some amazing guys like Jay as well. Jay, last yes. word here from you. You got a big fight coming up at Glory 80 on March 19th. You're a personal trainer as well. Let the people know where yes. they can find more of you. Uh, on Instagram at Jay Okamir and on Facebook on Jay Okamir. And uh, what you say, I'm a, I'm a personal trainer and I also teach kids uh, and the, the, the children. And I love to, um, to bring them up. So, 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 so that the kids eventually uh, are, are also going to fight and believe in themselves. That is wonderful to hear. Gentlemen, I hugely appreciate your times. Tim Wheaton at MMA Sucker here, Melvin Manhoof, and we have Jay Overmere. Appreciate your time, gentlemen. Have a wonderful afternoon. You also. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.